Here we go, guys. I'm here at CES, uh, and I'm doing a series of videos while I'm here that are just kind of quick and dirty uh, because it's not the most conducive place to film. Uh, and we're, you know, I'm running around like a crazy person trying to film all the things. This place is massive, so I apologize for the quality and the sound and all the other stuff. Uh, but figured I should do some videos to show you guys some of the cool stuff that I'm being shown. Uh, so. Here we go with this one. Now Razer, as is Razer fashion here at CES, announced another project. This one is called Project Linda, and it's basically a laptop dock for your Razer phone. Now Project Linda is based off the Razer Stealth design with the same length and width, but it is slightly thicker by just a hair and definitely lighter, thanks to not having any real internals. It is basically a dummy terminal that is entirely powered by the Razer phone. The phone slots into a Razer phone-shaped hole under the keyboard, and then you push a button and it makes an amazing sound, and the phone is locked in via a USB-C connector that pops out and into the phone. Once locked in, the Razer phone becomes a trackpad and also a second screen depending on the application you're using. Think inventory for your game or a photo gallery for editing in Lightroom, etc. You then have access to the full-sized Chroma-enabled keyboard and the 13.3-inch screen that Razer is also aiming to mimic the Razer phone with Quad HD, 120 hertz, and touch enabled on the real model in the future. Razer also used a customized version of Sentio Desktop, which is an app available from the Play Store, that turns the experience into a more desktop-like one with a start menu and windows for your Android apps, etc. Now, in addition to extending the display and the use of the keyboard, it also has a 53.6 watt-hour battery inside that can rapidly charge the phone over three times when away from AC power and has 200 gigs of storage should you want to offload or even back up your phone to the Linda device. As far as ports, it has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, USB port, USB-C charging port, a 720p webcam, and dual array microphones. One thing missing, speakers. Now, if you've ever heard the Razer phone's speakers, you'll understand why. It, they don't need it. It is the loudest phone I think I've ever used, ever. Um, and those two front-facing stereo speakers do the job just fine. Now the idea behind these projects that Razer does um, at these events is basically they're kind of testing out a concept and then they want feedback from people like you and the press and whoever else to decide whether they actually want to go through and make it. So you can reach out to them on all of their social networks. If you're a fan of Razer, you know where to find them, but it's Razer with a Z and not an S, and it's ER instead of, anyway. You'll find them. Reach out to them and you guys can tell them what you guys think of this project, Linda. Also, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this project, Linda, because I'd also like to know as well. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I think it's cool and it's novel, but I don't know how much use there is. But maybe if it does become real, they'll send me a review, guys, and I'll uh, be able to figure it out from there. But I hope you guys like this. If you did, um, also please let me know in the comments below what you think of these types of like quick and dirty videos while I'm here at CES or any show for that matter. I'd like to know if you guys would like me to keep doing them. Um, but if you did like it, please thumbs up it or share it. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All that is greatly appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching.